traders from around the world. What's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden, back again with another free real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. It is Friday here in Australia and I am doing the review for Thursday from last night's uh, session uh, in the US and we did get some action. Uh, it was very, very, very interesting. Um, take a look at the SPY. Now we opened fairly flat. We did get a tiny gap down. And if you take a look at the five minute, what's interesting is we had this cute little pennant pattern right here and we didn't break above these highs. Now I actually did not catch this, this big bearish sell off. Um, unfortunately. However, I did catch a little bit of this action on the E-minis on the way back up as this was just, you know, a very, very quick sell-off. Um, very, very quick sell-off. Take a look at the daily. We came, we came straight back down to this previous support level right here. Um, and obviously, this was definitely going to be a buying zone. You can see here, you know, these candles here, this candle here, this candle here, everyone seems to be buying here. There's no real great news saying that the market's going to be tumbling over. So I would not be bearish on the markets after we have already dropped um, this far, especially over the last three days. Um, so this was definitely a dip buying opportunity. If you did get to catch that dip or even you got to catch the fall, then well done to you guys. Um, commend you all. Let's take a look at the E minis, and we are looking a little bit fairly positive. We did get some great bullish volume yesterday. Um, from here, I do expect us to be a little bit choppy, probably come up back to the 100, back down. And um, I am looking to, ex uh, I am expecting the 200 to come back in to, uh, in to as a support and uh, look to buy the dip. I do not think that we are just going to launch out of here. If we do, however, um, there, there should be a nice little S curve, cute little flag pattern that will most likely occur. Uh, let's take a look at the Dow Jones. Oops. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones futures. Oh, what's going on here? Sorry. Oh, bugger. Sorry guys. Um, Take a look at the Dow Jones here. Uh, we did come down to the 200 on the daily chart. So that was a very, very key level of support. And we are right now bouncing. Currently sitting at 26,000 points and most likely we will slowly grind higher. Let's take a look at a few stocks. Let's take a look at Apple. Now I did say back here, most likely we would uh, probably go lower after this evening star reversal pattern. However, this, this red line here that I've got here at 215 was a support level just from these previous highs. I have had that drawn and basically we just came straight down, retested and the market just shot higher. So from here guys, this support seems to be uh, quote unquote confirmed. Um, and I do expect us probably to hold this up as we did get some very nice volume coming in. Uh, we can still be fairly choppy here, um, but I'd just be looking to buy low, sell high. And uh, looks like Apple is going to soon start to be creating some new all-time highs. So if you're in Apple long-term shares, be excited. Uh, we're going higher. Here's Activision, ticker symbol ATVI. Now we did get a Morningstar reversal. Now I'm actually spewing that I missed this particular hammer candle. Um, if you take a look at the shorter term moving averages, we did come into the 50 and just take a look at the volume from the previous day that we did have. I'd like to say that I traded this, however, it was not on my radar. We did get some beautiful volume and uh, right at a, at a very, very key level of resistance slash support and at open, even though the market turned bearish, if you take a look at the five minute, uh, we basically just shot straight up, beautiful little S curve down to the 20 EMA and then traded higher. So if you did take ATVI, well done. Uh, let's take a look at Tesla. This was on my, I did actually trade Tesla last night, probably quite poorly, to be honest. I only ended up exiting for 
uh, a 0.5 R gain. Obviously, you can see how I did play this. I had an entry below here with a stop up here. Uh, and I almost did get my 2R target. However, you'll see, oops, I'll just show you how this, where is it, short. So you'll see here, as we came up and came back down, sorry, my 2R target was just below here. So I almost I almost hit my 2R target. And at this, at this point was also when the E-minis was actually starting to bounce. So I was a little bit more, focusing on the e-minis and I didn't actually trail my stop in time. So um, I ended up trailing my stop back back to here and uh, getting stopped out for, uh, getting trailed out, sorry, for just a 0.5 R gain. Could have locked in point, uh, 1.6 R, um, but obviously did not hit my target and I definitely wanted to go for the big score. So a lot of real life traders in the room making some beautiful gains on Tesla. So shout out to the real life trading team. You guys rock. Absolutely crushing it. Uh, let's take a look at Snapchat. Um, and on the daily, uh, I'll bring up the long-term moving averages here. Now, this we have had quite a bit of a sell-off on uh, Snapchat the last couple of weeks. Uh, we have dropped down 22%. And what's interesting is we do have beautiful volume coming in. We are currently at a very nice support level. And we do have a very nice hammer candle. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see how we open on Snapchat. Um, I have in the past been quite bearish on Snapchat. Uh, we did get a very nice retest gap from their last earnings and we just came down to fill that gap um, just in the last two weeks. So now that this gap has been filled, uh, we could probably consolidate for a little while and probably start to go higher. So if you are looking to buy low, sell high, uh, this is definitely a buy low, sell high location. And on the weekly chart, on the weekly chart, you'll see here, we almost did come down to the 50 day um, EMA. So keep your eyes peeled on Snapchat guys for a bounce shortly. Uh, looks very, very good for a long going forward. Let's take a look at Lyft, ticker symbol LYFT. Now, if you remember my stock review that I did back around here, I think it was, um, I did say that most likely we will come back down to test these lows. Uh, we did test these lows and actually we ended up going lower. Uh, this was a very nice level of support, previous level of support and ended up becoming a nice resistance to roll over. So if you did end up catching that short, uh, well done to you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much lift. Right now, not a whole lot of bullish signs. I'd probably just stay away from it at the moment. If you are looking to trade this, I'd just be saying trade the gaps and follow the sentiment and look for, your, uh, look for all your bullish or bearish patterns if you are trading them. Let's take a look at CGC, uh, cannabis stock. Uh, now, what's interesting about CGC is we have a beautiful morning star reversal, morning star reversal pattern right here at a previous level of support. And we have come down quite a bit and we also have some very, very nice volume coming in. So CGC, is this going to be the bottom? Uh, who knows? We will find out. Uh, we do... Back here, there were obviously a few people that did come in to buy the dip and they obviously look to sell. I did explain that last time. Um, but right now, I think these buyers are coming back in, trying to pick the bottom. And I mean, it's a very good place to go long, if you ask me. Uh, on, the long term, on the long term, we have an absolute glorious hammer of Thor right now. Look at that candle right there. Uh, very, very beautiful. And we are at almost the 200 simple moving average. So from here, guys, this is a very nice location to start picking up a share or 10 of CGC. So keep your eyes peeled on CGC. Let's take a look at Aurora Cannabis, ticker symbol ACB. Uh, another cannabis stock that actually did come down to the 200 simple moving average on the weekly chart. And another candle that is also providing us with beautiful volume and uh, yeah, great, great hammer candle has been selling off for a while. And on the daily chart, would you look at that? 
we also have a morning star reversal. Uh, so from here, guys, I would not be totally bearish, as, as especially because this is a previous support resistance level right here. So if you are looking to pick up a share or two of, uh, or maybe even 500 shares, however many, uh, mitigate your risk, guys. But ACB definitely looks like a very nice buying location down here. Very, very good. Let's take a look at Alcoa, ticker symbol AA, and just hemorrhaging at the moment. Uh, every time we do come up to the 100 simple moving average uh, on the daily chart, we just seem to have a very, very nice little rejection and we keep going lower. So from here, guys, if you are in shares on AA, I hope you have realized this pattern and are buying put options to protect your assets at uh, when we do come up to the 100 simple. So we do have earnings just around the corner. Um, I do not know what's going to happen. Probably it's going to go lower. Um, but if we do go higher, uh, I'll be obviously looking for a nice little day trade on that one. Let's take a look at MU. Now MU just coming straight back down to the 100, just like we spoke about on this day. I did say that we were going to have a, uh, I did say look for a bearish trade for the, for the day traders the next day and that most likely we are coming down to the 100 um, based off this support here. And we pretty much came straight down and bounced uh, surprisingly. So who would have picked that? Uh, MU probably going to be a little bit choppy here, guys. Um, most likely is going to follow the rest of the markets, but just look to trade your plan and uh, trade what you see. Looks really, really good to go long on MU. Let's take a look at the all odds. And we did break the 100 simple, obviously with the market sell off. Uh, however, we are finding some strength after this little double bottom, little retest and then big retest. So right now we are at this neckline and I do believe that we will start to bounce and go higher. Let's take a look at the banks, CBA. If you're uh, looking to purchase any shares, um, CBA is coming down to a very nice value area. Uh, we are almost at the 200 and we have bounced off here just a couple of times before. Uh, has been a very nice level to go long. And it is a very beautiful little pullback that we have had from these particular highs. We did pull back about six or 7%. Um, and this is, currently in a very, very nice upward trend, as you can see here. So uh, most likely look to buy the dip. CBA looking great. So look, let's look at their competitors, ANZ. Now, another one that's also gapped down from, from these highs here. Coming back down to almost the 200, also looking for a very nice buying location. ANZ, uh, let's look to buy the dip. Looks really, really nice. And Westpac Banking Corp coming back down to the 100 simple, another gap down um, and oh, uh, most likely will uh, slowly grind higher. So the banks all had a nice little gap down, but very, very good to start going long. Let's take a look at Altium. Altium bouncing off the 200. Uh, no one would have picked that at all. I think I did say that this was gonna happen, that most likely we come down to the 100. 200, even better. Very nice distribution phase we are in right now. You can see here, we do have a beautiful level of support right here. And here's your support and resistance levels. So currently channeling, just distributing, and most likely will slowly uh, start to grind higher. So Altium, very nice buying location. Look to go long. Take a look at BHP. BHP, I did mention that most likely we will um, consolidate sideways like this here. And I do expect that to happen for the next couple of, uh, probably the next few months actually on BHP. But we are coming back down, like I did say here. And most likely we will uh, slowly bounce and then come back and then probably grind higher. So, BHP starting to consolidate, which is really, really great. Nice buy the dip location. Let's take a look at some commodities. Here's, uh, here's crude oil. 
And in my last review, I said I would be looking for this to uh, come back down to this level of support. If we close below here, I'd be a little bit more bearish. Um, but right now, I'm not bearish on crude at all, especially at these levels. Does look very good to go long. Um, I have been saying that for a while, uh, just waiting for the current setup. We do have some beautiful volume coming in. We are at previous uh, low levels and we are throwing in a very, very nice long lower shadow with volume. So what I would look to uh, find here, guys, is a nice little bullish push and I'll just look to buy the dip, buy on a pullback with a stop below here. And uh, that's basically how I would trade crude. So crude. Looking very, very nice for a bounce. Uh, let's stay long on crude. And I did actually miss his gold. I did actually miss this. Uh, I actually, sorry, I didn't miss this. I caught part of this this run, not the entire run, uh, but I did catch some of it, which is really, really nice. Um, did get half an hour on gold. Sold out a little too early, as we did get a very nice push last night. Um, Gold obviously is still consolidating here, guys. I do think that this will be a nice little S-curve pattern and will slowly grind higher. If we do start to bounce um, straight out of here, obviously I would look to buy the dip. If you aren't in already, don't try to chase the trend. I think you'll get a very nice dip buying, uh, dip buying opportunity in the future. We did come back down here. We did have a very nice morning star reversal pattern. And if I just draw these quick fibs for you, I think I drew this in my last review, um, but we did come back down to the 50% retracement level. Very beautiful time to start to go long. Um, and we are looking very, very precious. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. And we are once again throwing in some beautiful long lower shadows slowly starting to bounce and most likely we will just consolidate sideways just like we did back here if we do come back up to the 100 guys you know the deal you know what's going on uh, i've been talking about this for quite some time um you know about uh, the rba has uh dropped uh, dropped the rates so um obviously i'm not going to be bullish on the aussie dollar anyway team uh, hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you have an amazing weekend. I'll be back next Tuesday. Leave your tickers in the comment section below if you want me to review them in my next review on Tuesday. Have a great weekend and until next time, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.